G'day, Brent here from multi -L Central, and today we're taking you sailing on a new Corsair 760R. This is one of the funnest boats to sail, whether it's taking your family out for a weekend or racing with mates, and it's an ideal second boat if you have a big cruiser. Today we're going to show you with just some essential sailing skills how easy these boats are to operate and handle and have fun. Come and join us for a sail. Let's have a quick tour around the boat, starting with the large cockpit and a quick look into the interior, which has a small V-berth bunk at the front of the boat and access around the centreboard, so you're able to put gear inside, such as rudder, spinnaker, safety gear and so on. On the outside of the boat, we have, starting at the rear, a lift-out rudder blade and an 8 horsepower outboard, which lifts out of the water when you're sailing. You have a lot of real estate in the trampolines that go right out to the floats and enable you to move around the boat in terms of when you want to have a leisure day, or alternatively, if you're out there and you're racing, you want to get the weight where you need it. The forward bow nets are a safety feature, enabling you to move around the bow of the boat without the fear of falling into the water, and also a fantastic place to relax in the sun. Now let's have a look at the sails. The boat is fitted with roller furling mainsail and a rolling furling jib. In this case, both carbon fibre for our racing schedule and also has a top-down furling spinnaker. To put the main sail up, we first take off the sail bag, connect the main halyard to the sail, and then pull up the sail a fraction, because we need to put the top angle batten in to maintain the square top shape. Once you have this in, we pull the main up using the halyard, and if necessary, we winch up. We then connect the Cunningham, which is a little device to allow you to put tension along the luff and help depower the the sail. We then connect the rotation control mechanism and take out the rotation bracket so that the mast is now free to rotate. You may have never used a rotating mast before but it's essentially a bit like a turbocharger. It gives you more power when the mast is pointing into the wind than what you would have on a fixed mast setup. If you don't want the power you can leave it fixed in the centre as if it was a fixed mast. To complete the mainsail, you simply loosen or take off the topping lift. The next one is the jib. The jib is rolled up around the forestay and left there once you have finished sailing for the day. But it's really easy to sail to pull out. You simply take the furling line out of the cam cleat and pull on one of the sheets. And the sail just comes rolling out and then you can adjust it to suit yourself from there. So this basically has the boat in a ready sail position and there's just one more thing, it's the centre board that lowers down using a blue line. And if you need to pull it up, use the red line. On well, this side allows you to sail the boat hard into the wind. So let's go sailing. First up, we'll go hard into the wind. So in this case, you've got all the sails on tight and the boat is really motoring along. At the moment we've got wind of about 10 knots. And you can see we've got the boat up and we're doing about eight knots of boat speed, which is pretty good for a 24 foot boat. We'll now do an attack, turning into the wind, and head off into a different direction. But attacking these Corsair trimarans is super easy, and they're very responsive. As you can see, the boat just turns into the breeze when you want it to. Skipper typically controls the main sheet tension, and also the traveler, and this allows you to run off the wind or adjust the sail to a maximum advantage. We'll now show you how the spinnaker works. And on this boat, we have a top-down furling spinnaker. But we've pulled the tack line out to the front of the prodder. We can tension the spinnaker, and now we're ready to go. With the spinnaker flying, we tend to furl the jib. And now that we're going along, we show you how to jibe. And to do this, we'll release the leeward sheet, turn the boat downwind, and pull on the the new leeward sheet. And pull the spinnaker in between the spinnaker line and the forestay. And off we go on the new tack. So as you can see, the boat is super easy to sail. If you want to hot it up, you power the boat up by trimming on your sails. But if you want it more relaxed and chilled, you drop the traveler down and depower the boat with the floats helping to stabilize it. If you'd like an info kit on the Corsair 760 or book a demo sail, click here. For other videos on the Corsairs, click here.